Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Alexander Strife, and today I've got a true treat. I am starting Warlords of Draenor. That was a gift from someone truly special and very important to me. She has joined me today on this recording session, so please give it up for the comics chick. Hey. Yes, that's her. We are going, well, I'm going to be starting off my main Moon Glow for just playing through and seeing what Warlords of Draenor is like and actually seeing what this alternate version of Draenor is. Uh, I'm very, I'm versed in the WoW lore, but some of these new things are kind of interesting, especially one of the mechanics that I've been looking forward to is the garrison, because I've been hearing so much about it. So I'm super stoked. So if you guys are ready, this is what we're going to do. Now, the comic trick has been so great. She's been giving me advice through this whole thing. And hopefully, keyword there, hopefully, I won't get my ass kicked so many times. Welcome to the club if you do. <laughs> I'm the president. Going <laughs> on a cloppy. <laughs> yeah, you went on uh, your lock originally, and then you did your priest next. That was crazy. Oh, try I did my warrior first. Oh, yeah. And even though she was well geared, yeah. <laughs> Our that was tough. <laughs> and a lot of my stuff was taken away until I could get it back. All right. Now, here's the quest. The Dark Portal. Speak with Archmage Cadgar at the foot of the Dark Portal in the Blasted Lands. Attention, heroes, adventurers, defenders of Azeroth. Archmage Cadgar, hero of the Second War, is assembling a coalition of Azeroth's strongest to bravely step through the Dark Portal and stop the Iron Horde's invasion of Azeroth. Champions who are interested in glory can meet Khadgar at the base of the Dark Portal in the Blasted Lands. Safety is not guaranteed. <laughs> Maybe I should have read that whole quest before um, accepting it. Ah, details. All right, the Archmage focuses intently on the portal. Look, their numbers are abating. However, briefly, this may be our chance. Are you prepared to face whatever's on the other side of that portal? Sure, why not? It's not the first time I've done something crazy and stupid. Oh, cinematic already! This is our chance. Storm the portal! <laughs> Okay, I'm loving the new cinematics. And Thrall just comes up and kicks the orc back through the portal. That was awesome. Um, so I just saw the mass of orcs on the other side. I'm going to die quite a few times. This won't end well. Not the worst idea I've ever had. No, that's probably SCP containment breach and getting my tail side creamed. All right, we are through the dark portal into this new unforgiving land. Looks like we ended up in the right place. <laughs> It looks like we ended up in the right place. What would have happened if we ended up in the wrong place? Countless times you have battled against impossible odds and unspeakable evil and returned the victor. Now once more you have answered the call of duty. Prepare to risk your life to save the world that you love. Our world. You are Azroth's last hope, Moon Glow. While the challenges that stand before us are daunting, there is no... Uh, no other I would trust to lead this mission. The enemy is on the front and may have the information we need to win this war. Seek and destroy. 
Go now, Moonglow, for Azeroth! <laughs> Collect the Iron Horde missive from one of the Iron Horde at the... Why not? Sure, I'm gonna go fight. We're counting on you, Moonglow! I'm gonna yeah. die. And they have killed everything. Oh, shoot, I forgot. Starfire isn't around. Or Sunfire. I say Starfire's not around. Right as I cast Starfire. I am a genius. This spares the Warsong clan. Oh, shoot, they all respond in mass. All right. Guard, Gul'dan, and his shadow council with your life. The portal cannot function without our prisoners. Fell magic. Fail me and watch all that you hold deal turn to ash. Garmash, Gromash, Hellscream. Wow. Grom's turned into a dick. <laughs> a major dick, might I add. And oh, shh, Nikes. Oh, yeah, I've got to relearn my rotation. So apparently I need 1,519 Warsong Commanders to be able to level up. Because I got this uh, XP to level uh, add-on. Mm -hmm. And while it's great and all... Yeah, but you'll be doing other stuff. Yeah. Oh, looks like I made someone mad. Seek out Cooldan if you wish to truly stop the Iron Horde. Gul'dan, Gul'dan powers the portal. It's like those little heads are just like <laughs> the crazy little brother. <laughs> you, outsider, destroy that relic and set us free. Crush the relic. Smash the relic. Weren't you just talking about a relic earlier? Yeah, this is a different one. Ooh. Did you already go inside the buildings? I've got one down. And I'm working on the other one. Yeah, I'm really impressed though with the amount of um, NPCs they incorporated. Told you. You seek to disable the dark portal. No kidding, man. Because, like, they go through and they incorporate many of the faction's heroes. Yep. And you're running with Alliance and Horde. Yeah. So. Well... Oh. Jared will love that. Yeah. Hold up. Hmm. They've got new booze. Yep. All right, time to go back up to Katgar. I'm actually kind of happy that my epic weapons are not being replaced immediately. No, it takes a while. Ah, that's finally something they fixed. This portal is fueled by the powers of nether mechanical, neither mechanical nor arcane. Look to either side of us, Moon Glow. The so screaming souls of slain prisoners were being channeled into the heart of the portal itself. And they are channeling these souls through the body of Gul'dan. Find a way into the chamber beneath us and do whatever it takes to get Gul'dan to stop his channeling. Our last hope rests on you, Moon Glow. Now, quick synopsis. Enter the soul engine beneath... Oh, crap. I forgot to accept the quest. That might help. 
Yeah, you kind of need the quest. Enter the engine beneath the dark portal and shut down the dark portal. Well, time to go cutie. I'm a little sneaker. Yeah, you see what I did there? I'm not a stinker. I'm a sneaker. There you <laughs> go. I know. Maturity is not my strong suit. <laughs> Gul'dan! I have met the mother trucker who has done so... Oh! Don't see me. He sees me. Crap. <laughs> Don't. No, no, no. Starful! That makes it easy. Alright, Mark of the Burning Blade. I will just, you know, go ahead and destroy that. A sword through the stone. Mark of the Shattered Hand. Destroy that. Oh, crap. I've got to stand still long enough while these guys are, you know, hitting me. They're unleashing torment, and it's not really doing much. Okay. Typhoon! So I'm just standing here and taking all the damage they're dishing out and just AoEing them. Tormented soul. Poor soul. You poor unfortunate souls. Oh, I've got another one on me. <laughs> Gotta pay attention. Hey, what do I always say? Situational awareness? Uh-huh. Keeps me from getting my idiotic self killed. Alright, it's... It looks like, okay. Oh, there's the rune. <laughs> it's telling you which rune to destroy? Do not delay, mortal. I can feel the life essence of your armies fading. There will be time for regret later. We will meet again. Moon glow. <laughs> we will kill them all. Okay, so I've shut down the portal, and there's still a buttload of these iron grunts. The one thing I am liking is seeing all the heroes standing together. Did you see Thrall? Yeah. He's bald. <laughs> I mean, shoot, he hasn't even been a dad all that long and he's already lost his hair. <laughs> now I'm worried about when I become a dad. <laughs> Alright, follow. They called this operation a suicide mission, but I don't plan on throwing away any lives meaninglessly. Try saying that ten times fast. Everybody with me. All right. The vanguard is falling. We will not let their great sacrifice be in vain. So we run like... I'm trying to keep this somewhat clean. Yeah, but you'll see why. Oh, wow. We're in Bleeding Hollow territory. Okay. The vanguard is falling. We will not let their great sacrifice be in vain. In here! When the dark portal disabled... With the dark portal disabled, because I can reach so well, we have a new mission. Stay alive. 
We must keep pressing on, even if only to honor those who have stayed behind to secure our retreat. Yeah, I really like the fact that my epic armor from the previous expansion now lasts longer than four quests. This beach. Okay. Can't stay here forever. We need to keep moving. But first, we need a distraction. Cadgar conjures a small gem. This bead should burn anything flammable that you get close to. With your skill and a bit of luck, we make our own luck. You might be able to take the attention of the Bleeding Harrow orcs off our group. The Lucifron bead. So this, my friends, is a bit of a homage to Molten Gore. Slay five, six orcs. They kept us in cages. They drain our blood for rituals. Many left my people. Okay. Okay, dokie. We're going to kill a bunch of orcs. I will be really happy when I actually get many of my abilities back. Like, I don't have my secondary dot. And because it is a habit to always get both my dots up, it's kind of frustrating to not have both of them. I think I took on something a little too big for me. Nope. I'm killing them. Where's that other cage? We're going to get that cage. Okay, not there. This, yep. Now we going in like ninjas. Or not. Hmm. The Bloodthirsty Axe Beak. A Beast Warrior. Interesting. I did download an add on for, um, that tells a lot about the enemy presence. So it gives me information on, like, how much health they have and all that. Happy Jazz. So, what is this? Oh, food and drink. So, Bleeding Hollow. Okay, so obviously now my game wants to act all buggy. So, yeah. <clears throat> okay. There's a dwarf in your group. He does repair work. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, awesome. Thanks for the heads up on that one. No worries. I'm going to have to... It's getting almost 20 minutes, so after I complete this quest, I'm going to go ahead and have to call it. Okay. You know, I can never remember how to pronounce your... Main's name right? Jazia? Yeah, so I'm just gonna call it Jazzy. <laughs> Go ahead. Because I am lame like that. <laughs> Jazzy. I like it. So I've got three huts down. Um 
and Crystal just fell off the bed. Oh, no. Oh, she's fine. I mean, she's my little one. She's And she jumps back up on the bed. <laughs> so, yeah. I think I may have made the locals mad. I just burned a bunch of their huts. Oh, well. Oh, whoa. I just got to see the new Eclipse system. And it basically is like a ping pong ball keep going back and forth. It doesn't stay on one side, because on the old system you'd have to cast either Wrath or whatever to get it to boost up, but now it does it automatically. And I set one of the orcs on fire. Oh! Oops! I set an orc on fire and he jumped off a cliff. Oopsie. Ah, oh, crap. So, yeah. I'm going to run like there is no freaking tomorrow. Well, looks like I've made it to the main group. All right, let's see. There we go. Blaze of glory. Out of the frying pan and into the woods. Take a breath and get ready. Moon glare. There's not much time. Moon glare. Moon glow. There's not much time left. Well done. Given that they are injured, half starved, and poorly equipped, there's no blade so there's no blade so sharp as a vengeful spirit, no armor so thick as a righteous cause. I admire your sense of righteousness. Oh, I admire your sense of righteousness. I can definitely read. Even with your own survival hangs in the balance, you will find time to avenge your grieving widow. Well done. Alter altercation. You see that altar down there? There's a magical eye settling on its peak. I don't know why I got that weird twang to it. Uh, distract the eye, moon glow, cause a commotion. Kill some ritualists, whatever you have to do. Just occupy that thing long enough for me to guide the rest of our group past its gaze. Bring that strapping orc with you. The one that's not thrall. <laughs> So, um, yeah. It's pretty, it's pretty easy. Sounds like we're going to have some fun. Let's see. My webcam is in the way to check gear. There we go. Yeah, no. I think I'm just going to go ahead and sell the two items I got. But I think this will be where I'm going to have to call it quits. So, this is the beginning of Warlords of Draenor. My guest host has been Jazzy, the comics chick. Do you want to say anything? I hope you had fun with the start of it. Oh, it's been a blast. And I hope everybody that's watching enjoys... Uh, if you ever got, if you guys are ever on Teralion, which is our server, we are the Guardians of the Moon. We are always accepting new recruits, and this is the perfect time to start it up. Anyway, my name's Alexander Strife, so if you liked what you saw, like, comment, and subscribe. And this is and I'm signing out. See ya.